We've got some breaking news into us here at CNN U.S. Uh, the U.S. is sending combat troops to a hotspot in Africa. Let's go to the Pentagon to our correspondent, Chris Lawrence. Uh, Chris, what do you know? Yeah, Brooke, uh, this is a uh, letter that President Obama sent to some of the Republican and top leaders and, and top members of Congress informing them that he was sending about 100 U.S. military troops to various parts of Central Africa. Uh, basically, the first combat team deployed two days ago on Wednesday, and they also went with a complement of, of headquarters, logistics personnel, communication specialists to support them. And in the next few weeks, another combat equipped team will be joining them. So all told, there's going to be about 100 U.S. military troops in some of the countries around Central Africa. Hmm. Uh, if all of these countries give the okay, U.S. troops could be operating in Uganda, South Sudan, the Central African Republic, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. They are going there to support some of those nations in trying to remove a man by the name of Joseph Kony. He is the head of what's called the Lord's Resistance Army. It is a guerrilla group that has been trying for the better part of two decades to try to establish a theocratic government in Uganda uh, based on what they feel are, are the Ten Commandments. The problem is the Lord's Resistance Army has been accused of rape, murder, and kidnapping on a massive scale. Some have said that uh, Kony has pressed uh, more than 60,000 children into service, and by most estimates, about 2 million people have been displaced by the fighting that has continued to go on there. So, Chris, you mentioned 100 U.S. troops. Can we be more specific as far as what types of combat troops, special forces, do you know? We don't have that level of specificity yet, but you can imagine in a mission like this, uh, if, if not making up the entire team, that some special operations forces are included in that mix. But again, you've also got logistics, you've got communications, all the things that are needed to support those troops. Now, in the president's letter, it says they are not going to engage the Lord's Resistance Army directly, that they're there for information, advice, assistance. Uh, but, of course, you always have to be prepared if things don't go that way. And the letter does clearly state that if attacked, these troops will be prepared to defend themselves. We're talking about a, a landlocked country here in Africa. What, what sort of dangers might these troops be up against? Well, you're talking about a, a civil war that has been raging there for, for, for decades. Uh, very experienced fighters in that area. Uh, you know, it has some similarities to what a lot of people at home might think of the Black Hawk Down scenario. Mm -hmm. You know, that mission was also launched around the same time of year, October. It was the year 1993. About the same number of troops as well, maybe around 120 or so. But a very different mission. Uh, those troops are going in there to capture some of the top lieutenants of a renegade warlord. Uh, this, uh, by, on the face of it, and again, we, we need to drill down and get some more detail, but on the face of it, this seems like a broader mission to assist some of these countries in removing Joseph Kony and the heads of the, uh, the, Lord's, of the uh, Lord's Resistance Army.